Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called A Day in the Life of a Slice of Bread, and this game, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck this game is. Honestly, I just saw it on the homepage and I was like, that sounds interesting, I saw that it was a visual novel, it's actually from Summer Novel Festival, whatever that is, I guess it's like a two-month-long game jam style festival festival and yeah it's about bread being a piece of bread and I figured you know normally I play games that have like anime waifus in them it might be kind of fun to play something besides one of those so let's go ahead let's dive into the very gritty world of bread I don't really know anything about this game besides that so. oh there's a narrator that's weird oh god it turns out that apparently someone did just stab you. Oh no! I don't want to be stabbed with a knife. It seems that you're a piece of bread. <laughs> I guess it's okay then, right? Completely fine with it. Yeah. See, I'm fine with being a piece of bread and getting stabbed. That's kind of my purpose. But just then, a thought hit you. Bread is not so. Oh no! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I love the fact that there's like music in this game like the menu music was like this hip-hop beat very cool And then now we have this dramatic reading that's going on <laughs> A crummy situation. I just got that good god uh, Hop away off to freedom. I go realize that I was taken away from my entire family my loaf or accept my fate uh, I'm gonna you know what I need to get back to the loaf guys Yes, please! They're right there! I see them! They're right next to me! Oh, that's sad. <laughs> uh, grow a face? Uh, uh, sure? Yeah, okay. <laughs> what the hell? That's kind of effed up and weird. soon after. <laughs> I cry some more, eat myself out of existence because I'm so sad about my loaf. Oh god, I don't want to do that. I don't want to commit bread suicide. I want to cry some more. I'm going to get soggy though. Oh. <laughs> of course, duh. What else is there to do? You know what? I'm away from my loaf. It's time to go explore my own life now. I'm a big bread. Big me me big bread. <laughs> uh yeah. Uh, no, how could I? Or, you know what, I think I will. Oh, the power to you. Yeah, man, I'm a very strong piece of bread. Uh, what's happening here? Are these all the characters? Becoming a respectable citizen in society. Moving in with a suitable human partner. What? <laughs> what in the piss? Okay. Sure, is that me? Sure, those stupid skater kids always call you Mario. Why would they call me Mario? I'm a piece of bread. I don't look like an Italian plumber. It's because I'm a plumber. Okay, I get it. <laughs> exactly. Eat it, skateboard kids. Eat a big fat fistful of bread, you stupid assholes. <laughs> Exactly. I'm happy with myself. This is a game about self-discovery. I'm a happy piece of bread. And that was, <laughs> that was the end of the game? <laughs> what? There has to be more. I mean, obviously there were other choices, so I should be able to go in there and pick something else, right? So let's just start over. Let's get in there. We're going to skip through all this dialogue, and then I'm going to find out what I can do. Um, Hop away off to freedom I go. That's what I'm going to do. Independence for bread must. Exactly. Viva la revolution! Haha! -ha. What? What? What's happening here? <laughs> nice. A backflip. Uh, go left or go right. Oh shit! These are always the toughest. I always go left in games. I don't know why. It's just one thing I do. Ooh! We found freedom. You feel small compared to the large opening in the wall. Well, that's understandable. But at the same time, excited by all the new opportunities you now have. Oh, there we go. You make it to the outside world. 
Where will you go first? Where will I go? Screw this man, I'm going back inside. No way, we've come too far. We did a whole backflip. We have to keep going. Uh, what about that swanky looking hot dog cart? Ha ha! Hello! Operated by an even equally swanky looking person who looks to be bent over and asleep. Aw man. Resting on the palm of Guess it's a snoozing exhausting job selling hot dogs. On the scalding hot surface of the car. Oh damn, let's save them. Excuse me, ma'am. Wake up. You're about to <laughs> about to burn alive. Uh excuse me, sir? Wake up, you're about to be burnt alive. To be burn alive. I love that. <laughs> this person looks to be androgynous, so I just scream to warn them. <laughs> I don't say anything. Let them burn. <laughs> oh, God. So I could be a very evil, sadistic piece of bread if I want to be. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be the PC bread slice. I, I was just born myself. I don't want people making assumptions about me as well. So I shouldn't be making assumptions about this hot dog vendor. Oh. Good God! Why? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> that happened. They automatically sit up straight, their eyes wide, and a complete <gasps> expression to match. They quickly realize the situation they were in, and that you just saved them from a hell of a medical bill. That I did. They owe me. They owe me at least a hot dog. You up in the air. Certainly not unlike how that monkey picked up Simba in The Lion King. <laughs> they praise you endlessly for saving their face, mentioning somewhere in the word vomit that their name is Alex. What? <laughs> in the word vomit? Oh, I got it. Okay. Uh, Alex and N I now have a wonderful relationship, and I work with them at the hot dog cart. I leave abruptly after this experience. I don't even talk to this person anymore. Alex and I became great friends and attend bowling tournaments every weekend as a team. And, you know, other friend things like that. Uh, let's date Alex the hot dog vendor. Nice, another happy ending. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. You two hit it off famously, and you end up working with them at the hot dog pub, ending this small adventure on a good <laughs> Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend. You've earned it. Oh, another good ending. Look at that. We got two good endings in a row because I have so much visual novel experience that I'm just so great at picking the right things because this game is clearly the hardest game I've ever played in my entire life. I actually want to go back to that scenario that we were just in though. The one where we uh, could go left or right after doing the backflip off the table and see what happens if we go right this time. So I will be right back with that one. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to go right. I'm so excited to find out what's right. Uh-oh. A human grabbed me. Uh oh. Oh no. 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 How could this happen? This is terrible. <laughs> Texas. Ah, I get it. Cause like Texas toast. I understand the reference in the joke. So that was the bad ending. And and this time we don't get any cool swanky music or anything like that. It just plays us out. Nothing happens. God damn it, that sucks. Well, let's go back. Let's meet Alex again and see what happens if we let them burn their face. I'm curious about that one. <laughs> this time your face will burn, Alex. <laughs> their eyes open slowly, and their peaceful expression turns into one of panic. I mean, their face was just... Ah, damn it. It didn't even happen. Now they're just going to be mad at us and use us as a bun or something. No! They look at you accusingly for not warning them and crush you under their shoe, throwing a... In there for How dare you, Alex? In another universe, we had a life together. Realize that you sort of deserved it, though. <laughs> I guess being a jerk just doesn't work out. Well, you know what? It was worth a shot, right? So there's another bad ending for you guys. Once again, it looks like we get played off with no fun music or anything like that. But we got two good endings, two bad endings. I have a feeling that there's a little bit more to this game because there are, you know, a surprising number of branching paths for a game like this. But I'll let you guys find those yourselves if you want to. I'll leave a link down below in the description. If you want to play this game yourself, it's absolutely free over on Itch.io. It seemed like a fun thing to do. Like I said, normally I'm used to voicing like female waifus, but uh, in this particular case, I didn't have to voice anything. There was this very, very nice posh sounding narrator and it added a lot of character to the game. I like that there's music and everything as well. For a game that was made in 
allegedly two months. This was fairly well done. But <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye. Derp,